unified, disciplined and loyal. This is the North Korea on display to foreign journalists. The reality in a country with chronic food shortages is somewhat different, of course. And so, too, with the Workers' Party Congress, an event in which propaganda is the primary purpose. For domestic audiences, it's a show of strength. For the outside world, though, a different message. We won't use our nuclear weapons unless we're attacked first, the Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un told the delegates. Outside the Congress, the media bandwagon shifts up a gear. Uh, can we perhaps step into the kitchen? We're taken to this show home, a picture of comfort far removed from the average standard of living. And to a model factory, a symbol of industrial self-sufficiency at odds with the antiquated and broken economy. Of course, North Koreans know the reality, so they're spun a different yarn. It's one of threat and fear. Only some countries have a nuclear weapons, and they threat us. They threaten you? Yes. We are an independent country, so <clears throat> we must have a nuclear weapons and develop it for our country, our people. North Korea has long been a master of nuclear brinkmanship. The leadership openly says it has learned the lessons of other rogue states like Iraq and Libya. For the end of this party congress, away in the city behind me, we've heard the sound of thousands of people preparing to celebrate what is seen as the defining victory. The simple fact of regime survival underwritten by a nuclear weapons programme. As those preparations continue tonight, there are reports that North Korea's fifth nuclear test may be imminent. John Sudworth, BBC News, Pyongyang.